You don't have to be super fancy about it and you don't have to pay a bunch of money to even create your invoice. Do it, do things free as much as you can because acting is already an expensive career. So let me show you the invoice that I have. I have to send a decent amount of invoices as an actress for different jobs. They won't always ask you for an invoice, but uh, you will usually fill out a W-9 and create an invoice the day after you have done your acting, your performances. And it's really not as scary as it sounds. I thought it sounded pretty scary when I first was requested an invoice. What information am I even supposed to put on it? What information is inappropriate to put on it? This request usually comes from your agents or the casting director, the casting team, but the invoice is going to be for the production company. So the one I have, it actually used to be a template in Google Docs, but I looked for it and I couldn't find it. So I'm going to share it with you this one. It'll be a link in the description of this video and you can use it as you please. Just make a copy of it and you'll be able to edit it. I have been changing it a little bit here and there along the way, but it is very, very basic. I don't have like a company logo for, for me, so I don't really have anything at the top to show that it's me other than the name of the file because I do send this as a PDF when it is requested for me. So first, make sure to label it appropriately. Just do it nice and neat. Don't send like w3599.pdf. Label it as your first name underscore invoice, like you're showing what it is, underscore the name of the project that you did or the date if it's a, a company that you work with a lot and they just want it to be able to organize it by like the project name or the date. For this one, for example, it would be Belgica Rodriguez underscore invoice underscore project name dot PDF. You can download it as different things through Google Docs, and I suggest to do it as a PDF. At the top, I, I do two and then the production company name and address. You will have to provide a bit of personal information for this. So if you're not comfortable sharing your name or your address, I suggest getting a Google phone number that's not your actual Google phone number so that you can change it up if somebody gets it that you didn't want them to get. Get a PO box if you don't wanna share your personal actual physical address where you live in. So right after that, I have very, very basic, the description, the job name and role. So it would be like actress, role name in this film. So it would be like Jessica in the lease, actress. I'm putting that I acted in this thing. That was what I did. That was the job for that one. And then the date, hours, rate and amount. So the date, of course, obviously the date and then hours. If you do have overtime, you would add that separately. So I would usually put like a thousand dollars for 10 hours. And then if I did like two hours of overtime, I would put two hours overtime, $400 or whatever it is, and then the amount on the right, and then you can go ahead and total it at the end. For, so for this example, it was $2,000 um, for two days. And then um, at the bottom, I put send check to, and then my name and address. And then I also provide my phone number and email in case anything happens and they need to contact me. Usually casting will already have, and the production company will already have your email and phone number so they can contact you. But I like to put it here again because this is payment. You wanna make it as easy as possible and organized for them to be able to send that check to you. And then at the bottom, I also like to just write the invoice number just for my records and to keep track of everything. I like to every year start over a new invoice and it is a little bit different because I like to put the year as the last two digits. So let's say for my first invoice of this year, it would be like 01 because it's the first one, 22, year 22. So it would be 0122. So it looks like it's 122, but it's really my first one of the year. And then the date issued. I think the date issued is important so that if they, for some reason, don't end up opening your invoice for like two or three weeks, they're like, oh shoot, they sent us this invoice June 1st and it's like June 20th or something that way they can get it get it going as far as when you will get paid after you send over this invoice it really depends on all of the things they have to do because sometimes they'll have to go through casting you know casting will send it to the production company and then the production company will send it to your agent your agent will take the 20% and then send it to you so it might take a while but just check your local laws as far as how fast you need to get you should get paid after you give 
the invoice. It is a very, very basic invoice, but you will need it if you're an actor, especially if you do commercial work or if you're starting out and you do a smaller projects, user generated content, or if you are in a creator on any social platforms, you will usually have to do an invoice. Good luck and I hope you get paid soon. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will be making another video on how actors get paid and how I have gotten paid in different situations as far as what you need to fill out, the release, um, if you have to invoice every time, W9s, all of that. So if you have any questions about that specifically, let me know. But at the end of every video, I do feature another channel. So this is today's feature. And if you would like to be featured on my next video, let me know in the comments, like this video and subscribe to my channel.